going to continue our discussion of gases and the laws that govern them. Remember that before we talked about Boyle's law, which relates pressure and volume. We found out that in Boyle's law, pressure and volume, when multiplied together, equal a constant, which we're going to call K1. These two are inversely proportional to each other, which means that as pressure rises, volume decreases, and vice versa. Since this is a constant, we can set any two pressure-volume situations against each other and use that to solve equation. So for example, P1, V1 is P2, V2. With any three pieces of information, you can find the board. Let's move on and talk about Charles's law. Charles's law governs the relationship between volume and temperature. So the experiment to discover this was two test tubes side by side. In each of the test tubes, there was a fixed amount of gas. Here's the gas. And this is at room temperature. On top of the gas, there was a layer of mercury to keep the gas in, but also to add pressure. The pressure of the atmosphere and the pressure of the mercury put a constant pressure on the gas. Then, what happened with the addition of heat? An increase in temperature. In that situation, the same amount of gas occupied a larger volume. With the same amount of mercury on top, with the same atmospheric pressure, keeping pressure constant. So in this situation, pressure is constant, but with increased heat, there's increased volume. So let's look at a graphical representation of into Kelvin because those are the absolute units. And so any temperature you have in Celsius, you add 273.15 to convert it into, Celsius, uh, into Kelvin. Excuse me. So in this situation, we have a directly proportional situation. So we can say that in this case, volume over temperature equals a constant, which we're going to call K2. So in this situation, we've got a constant, and like with Boyle's law, we can say for any situation, V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. There we have it. So let's get a sample problem. 
This is going to be a warm-up problem tomorrow, but I'd like you to try it now, and we'll go over it in class. We'll do a demonstration, and then we'll work some more problems. Suppose you have a sample of CO, carbon monoxide. It is 3.20 liters at 325 degrees Celsius. At what temperature will the gas occupy? One point five four liters. So remember, you want to use your equality. B1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. You need to put temperature in Kelvin, and you also need to remember sig figs. Use this information to give this a try, work with Charles' law, and then we'll talk about it more in class. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.